Hello, and welcome back, children, to another episode. Today, we are learning to mentally add two-digit numbers using partitioning. So, here are steps to success. <laughs> Step one, I can recognize tens and units. Step two, I can partition the numbers into tens and units. Step three, I can add the units first and then the tens. Step four, I can partition and add the units and tens again if I have an extra ten. Step five, I can put the units and tens back together. So, let's try this one first. 23 add 44. Remember, working mentally means in our heads, but here, we're going to show you how it should be done in your heads. Okay, so, first, I gotta add the units, like this. Well done! So, hmm, okay, 4 add 3 gives me 7. Good, 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 good! Keep going! Then... 40 add 20 gives me 60, and then finally we put the units and the tens back together, so 60 add 7 gives us 67. Amazing! Next, let's try this one. 52 add 30. Nine. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, step one, I can recognize the tens and units. Well, that's the tens, that's the, that's the units. Step two, I can partition the numbers. In into tens and units. Yeah, I've done that. Step 3, I can add the units first. First, and then the tens. Oh, okay. So, I do 2 and 9, which gives me 11. Good. Then, I need to add the tens, so I add 50 and 30, which gives me 80. Uh, hold on. Wait, I have an I have 80 and 11 now. What do I do? Well, do the same again. Look at step 4. It says I can partition and add the units and tens again if I end up with an extra 10. Oh, okay. So, I have to partition 80 and 11 again. Okay. Okay, so, 0 add 1 equals 1, 80 add 10 gives me 90, so the final answer must be 91. Fantastic, which means 52 add 39 gives us 91. Your turn now, children. Can you answer these two questions using your mental addition? So, your first one is 23 add 14. And the second one is 36 add 35. When you think you've got the answer, remember to see your teacher. And remember, if you've got any questions to ask him, like I have to ask the professor now, make sure you ask him. Good luck.